listening to Catfish Blues by Robert Petway a little bit earlier today, and I was struck by just how much you can say without doing a whole heck of a lot on the fretboard. Now, that song's special for a lot of different reasons, but it inspired me to really dig into a cool rhythm part. And this Delta Blues-inspired riff just kind of came out of the guitar, and that's what we're going to get into today. Let's start unpacking it. I'm in standard tuning with a capo on the third fret, so this is now going to be the open six string, and anytime I call a fret number, it's going to be in reference to the capo as if that's the new nut or the new open string, right? So we're going to play this common power chord shape right here by borrowing at the second fret across strings five and four. And we're really going to try to mute out the third string for the most part, but you'll want to be in a position to strike the open top two strings here and there. That's going to come up a little bit later. But what we're going to do is hold that position and then we're going to chug along to a four count. I'm going to use a palm mute and I am using a flat pick here. You could totally just use a thumb or a thumb pick if you want. But what we're doing is something like this. We're just chugging along there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But we're going to make this special in a few different ways, starting with accenting the twos and the fours. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just coming down with a little heavier attack, especially on strings four and five for beats two and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But now we're going to change things up rhythmically at the end of the measure just to keep things alive. Now what we need to do is take that and combine it with a cool little tag, a little ending that moves us down from the fifth string, second fret, to the open fifth string, and then the third fret on the sixth string, and then maybe, maybe the open sixth string here and there. All right, pretty cool. You can do that every time, every other time, whatever feels good to you. This is yours, kind of a good platform to move some riffs around. Three, four, one, two, three. And another thing we're gonna do is strike those open strings, particularly on B2 every now and then. got to do is change it up on the fretboard just a little bit. Surprisingly not very much, but what we're going to do is drop our little bar chord to the open fifth string and bar across the fourth string. Really just the fourth string. You could catch the third string here if you wanted to. We've got that same accent thing happening on beat two and four here. And we can even do that same little tag ending idea here as well. Here we go. And one more part that comes straight out of the Robert Petway Catfish Blues playbook is we're going to move up here to the fifth fret and we're going to bend slightly. A little blues bend on that fifth fret fourth string. Sounds like this. Here we go. Notice how it was every other beat, which is another cool way to accent the all important two and four. Let's do it again. I 
love building things brick by brick like this. I mean, we started about as basic as you can get with those down chugs on the quarter note beat. And then we added the accents, which really helped the rhythm start to jump, start to come alive. And then of course we changed up the rhythm at the end and even added this little tag. Again, that's the second fret, fifth string, and then open fifth string, third fret, sixth string, and open. So this is it. It's the timing and it's kind of getting it to, to loop together that really make it something cool. Then, of course, we can do a lot of those same ideas, if not every one of them, as you so choose on your guitar, just from the context of the open fifth string and the bar across the second fret of strings four and three. In that case, I even move that riff up to that string set, that little tag ending. And don't forget, you've got this cool idea that you can do up here, and it's on every other beat. On those twos and fours, we do that bend. And don't feel afraid to get a little wild with it. Get wild with it as you need to, as you want to, as it feels like it needs to happen, and then move things around and mix and match these ideas. Really three core ideas here, and it's all about the rhythm. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you did, check out some more Delta Blues guitar lessons over here, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, practice smart and play on.